I'm out here today at one of my favourite, if not my most favourite place in the world and it's the Eildon Hills near Melrose and Gallish Hills and the Scottish Borders a site which has been revered and used by human beings since the beginning of time What I want to look at today is the old Iron Age hill fort on the top of the Eildon there. The largest hill fort in all of Scotland. And you can quite clearly see the rampart around the perimeter of the fort up there. But I want to get closer and see what else we can see up there. Yeah, you can see the, the ditches there running round the side of the hill which were the ramparts to the fort and it's quite obvious even the further you get away the more clear those ditches become so these are the ramparts of Yieldon Hill North that I'm sitting in just now you can't really see them very clearly when you're right up at them you need to be far away the further away you are the clearer it becomes but it's an enormous perimeter uh, on the south side there it even dips below the summit of the hill and it forms a, a ring around a little plateau on the south of the hill. But what was going on up there? I don't think it was a military stronghold, it's too large. It would have been almost impossible to defend this enormous perimeter. So that next question would be, is it a, was it a town? Was it like a permanent place of residence for people? Well again, I think that seems a little bit far-fetched. The conditions up there are kind of inhospitable. Even on a nice day like this down in the normal world, it's windy as anything up here and cold. And water, how would they get water up there? It would have been an arduous trek down into the valley and an even more arduous trek back up the hill with water. So I don't think people would have lived there permanently. Yeah, I'm at the summit of the hill now, but you can see the, the rampart running right along there, around the perimeter of that plateau down there. Look at those autumn colours. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that the hill wasn't a military fort. It wasn't a permanent place of residence like a town. So what was it? Well, I think that the hill here was more of a ceremonial meeting place. A place where the Celtic people of the early first century and before that came for ceremony and to worship the elements and the turning of the seasons. <laughs> they were highly spiritual people. You know, the Romans, when the Romans arrived here in 780 AD, they called this Trimontium, but they also called it the Hill of Fire because there were always ceremonial fires burning on the top of the hill here. The, the Druid people of the Celtic tribes that lived here held ceremony here, I believe, to worship nature and the seasons and the sun and the moon and the mountains and the rivers. But what of these 500, 500 huts that are supposed to be up here? You can see the ramparts, you can even see the evidence of the Roman signalling station which was up here, but I can't see any evidence on the ground of 500 huts. So let's get the drone up and see if we can see anything from there.
Yeah, so even with, with the drone up in the air, it's still almost impossible to see any huts or any evidence of huts. There's just too much vegetation and, and probably thin layers of mud and dirt and stuff up here and it's very, very difficult to see. But what if we could see through the vegetation and see through the debris on top? Well, now we can. There's a special technology known as LiDAR, which beams a laser from satellites down onto Earth and pierces through any vegetation and really shows the ground as it is. Any ditches or bumps or humps in the ground become visible when they're not visible to the naked eye. So let's take a look at the LiDAR images of this hill. Isn't it just fantastic what this LiDAR technology brings to life? It's like we've been blind and this opens our eyes to what is actually up here. It's unbelievable to think this was some sort of thriving ceremonial community up here. 500 huts, I've said that about a thousand times now. 500 huts, can you believe that? Amazing. All the times I've been up here and you just I don't, know, I don't know what I thought it was, but when you see that, it just brings the whole thing into perspective and focus.